Welcome to Office Nifty, where I help to demystify creating amazing spreadsheets with LibreOffice Calc, or just make a quick tip about a specific function. For today, I'm talking about the if function. And also, I'll show you how to do if else by using the same if function. So let's get started. We'll start with taking a look at the if function and the structure of it. Here I have a table of the column for grade and the formula column is just the text of the formula it actually doesn't calculate anything and the result is where I have the formula and it calculates the result based on what I'm using in the formula. So in this first formula we see that the function for if takes in two arguments. If we take a look at the tooltip the first argument is called a test. Here is where we can put in some sort of comparison operator or some sort of logical expression for the function to, to determine whether it's a true or false situation. I'm simply looking at cell B4 and comparing if it's greater than 90. If it is, then it gives me the result, which is the second argument that I use, which I'm saying great score with the exclamation mark. So that's pretty straightforward. When the condition is met, it'll display what I put in for the second argument. Now for the second formula, I changed the condition to check for a score of greater than 95. And here in cell B5, it's exactly a 95, and so it doesn't meet the condition I set. And that's why the result of my if function is false. So that's the general gist of the if function. Now I'll show you if else. I just copied down from the previous cells, but I'll change the formula to have a third argument. So I'll modify this formula to include a third argument. Okay, so the difference between the second formula and the third is that I've added bad score into the function to represent the else scenario. So if the score is greater than 95, it gives me this result, else it will show me bad score. So that's the difference between D5 and D6. Now just as a note, instead of it showing false, we can set it to use an empty string so it can be blank instead of displaying false. So here we see in my formula, I just put in two quotation marks to represent an empty cell. Now if you're dealing with numbers, you can have it show the number 0 or any other number that makes sense for what you're trying to do. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope it gets you started using the if function. If you have any questions, feel free to mention it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.